So folks have went Norway Dander and actually Gareth and Gary, I think I found out where you get them burgers that you're looking for here at Cory's Fine Foods and Butchers, but I've actually heard that there's real good beef cattle here too, so I'll take a wee dander down and I'll take you all along with me. Well, how are you getting on? Oh, the very best in yourselves. Grand, I. We just came here to see show cattle and we heard you were the one to come to. Oh, you came to the right place, so. You're going to give us a lowdown then on what's involved in getting an animal ready for a show? Yeah, well, leading up to the shows is all to do with the feeding mm -hmm. and getting her in the tip top shape for the shows. Uh -huh. and as I say, you're always aiming to finish off at the back end of the year at the autumn shows uh -huh. in her peak condition. Through the summer, you're building her up for the autumn. Yeah, have you been at it long? Uh, well, we're JCB commercials, and I think it was say, 2016. Uh -huh. We started off as the three of us. There's Johnny, Neil, Garth, Corey, and Charlie Bevelin. Uh -huh. um, so that's the three of us that show together. It's just yeah. a hobby. Yeah, Bit where are you based? Well, we're just Newton Arge, I'd say, or in Newton Arge, um, just a few miles from Belfast. Uh huh. And you have your butchers and all on the yard and people can call? Yeah, there's a farm shop there uh -huh. and then the high street shops as well. Yeah, so you plant it there. Well, do you mind showing me what's involved? No, certainly. Right, will you take me through what a judge will be looking for in a commercial cow? Well, probably the most uh, important thing in a commercial animal is the back end. Uh huh. Um, the way she stands and... Well, the width. Yeah. And the way she stands. You want them very wide up here at the top end. Yeah. Very square at the plates. Uh -huh. She's very good there. And it carried very deep ham right through uh -huh. and good width the whole way down. And the way she stands at the back, like wide? Does yeah, that... you want her like she's standing well there, nice uh -huh. square legs. Yeah. And then you want a very level back right through up to the shoulder. Yeah. Right through the loin. You want it to stay the same width uh -huh. the whole way up. And you want this you flat. want that as flat as possible, you know uh -huh. you want to be able to put a like a book leaf on it. Yeah. And then you want them to have a good deep loin. Just there where uh -huh. your primal cuts are, that'll be your sirloin. Uh -huh. Um and then you want their not you want her deep at the front but not overly deep. Because mm -hmm. if you have a real deep front, then it takes away from their back, the back end. end. Yeah. And with hers, well, she's got a very nice wee head on her, uh -huh. which is always catchy. Here. It's just a nice That's wee a... sweet wee head. She nearly looks like a calf's head on her. Yeah, she's baby faced. And she's never done no shows yet, has she? No, she has. She was um, shown as a calf. She was bought in the autumn time in um, Scotland uh -huh. off Gary Bell from Lockerbie. Mm -hmm. And then we showed her at the Limits and Calves show in March. Yeah. And she was the champion commercial calf and reserve overall champion against so the Batteries. She's rosettes and all behind her then? So she's had a few rosettes, but unfortunately, this year, the way things are, she's yeah. not going to get a chance no. to get out to the shows. Well, you hold on to her. Oh, her she'll, be retained. she'll be retained for breeding. Yeah, well, that's good then. Well, hopefully, she will do well for you. And thank you very much for thank you. helping me. I think I understand it all now. I might become a cattle judge. <laughs>